Hello, I'm Anne Lovegrove and welcome to today's reflection, it's, which is focused on the subject of change. You'll agree that we live in a changing world and in the past few months we've had to get used to our normal daily life being very different. Probably the best example of change in a natural world is that of caterpillar to butterfly. A bu caterpillar becomes a chrysalis and inside hardens like a tough outer skin. Then the caterpillar's body liquefies and rearranges to form a butterfly. Whilst there's a good scientific explanation of how this happens, to me it's an absolute miracle that a fairly nondescript crusty chrysalis becomes a beautiful butterfly. I expect you've attended a few weddings over the years and what is common to each one is that family members and friends are excited to see the couple tie the knot. In the introduction to the service, these words are included. Marriage is a way of life made holy by God and blessed by the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ with those celebrating a wedding at Cana in Galilee. It seems that Jesus had enjoyed going to a wedding. On this occasion he went with his mother Mary as well as his disciples. We don't know if the bride and groom were related to him or not but there he was part of the celebrations. The wedding would have taken place in the early evening and afterwards the groom would have led his bride through the village to their new home. Unlike our wedding parties when everyone goes home or to their hotel room at the end of the day, a Jewish party could last up to a week. We can imagine what sort of nightmare it must have been for those who planned the catering for such an event. It's no wonder then that they'd run out of wine. When Mary, Jesus' mother, saw what had happened, she approached Jesus with this very unpopular news. Mary asked her son for help. And when she answers him, she does so as someone whom she knows requires obedience. So she tells the servants to do everything that Jesus commands. After Jesus told them to fill six stone jars with water, Jesus changes it into wine. When the master of ceremonies was given some to taste, this is what he said, expressing surprise to the bridegroom. John 2 verse 10. Everyone serves the good wine first, and when people have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you kept the good wine until now. What a miracle this was. It wasn't just about changing water into wine, but about producing absolutely fragrant, unforgettable and wonderful wine. There are a number of interpretations of this miracle, but for me, it speaks about how Jesus can change anything, and especially us. Being his follower and allowing his Holy Spirit to guide and mould us enables us to change into beautiful butterflies from crusty chrysalises. It's not likely to happen as quickly as that miracle in Cana, but if we're willing to submit daily to Christ, it will take place. And if you don't believe this, then look back at your Christian journey to see what changes God's made to your attitudes and to your behaviour. Sadly, we often focus too much on our failures, often forgetting that we have been forgiven. Rather, we should rejoice in all that God has done in our lives as he seeks to change us into his likeness. It's a likeness like that wine that could be described as absolutely fragrant 
unforgettable and wonderful. The song I've chosen for today is by Marilyn Baker, a former member of Christchurch and once a pupil at the College for the Blind, where the Cedars Village is now situated. But first a prayer. Father God, when we put our faith and trust in you, we receive the power of your Holy Spirit. Make us willing to submit to your will and allow you to change us each day in order that we may be people who exude the beauty of Jesus in our lives. In his name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 